Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel. If you do not follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram at forever.humblyjournaling. Um, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, if you're new, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you are not new, thanks for coming back, supporting the content on my channel. So today I'm gonna try to do a really quick process video using um, Women of Faith, Hannah and Sarah by Pretty Planners Unite SC. You can actually find her on Instagram as well. You will find everything linked below in the description box. Um, so, but before I get into the process video, I know some people might be like, hey, where did you get that Bible? This is like my fourth Bible. I got this Bible from Ashley over at Legacy of Love Creations. You will also find her on Instagram as well. And I can link her Instagram handle below in the description box. She makes personalized journals. Um, she has bow clips. She has um, Bible tabs. And one of the things that I really love about her Bibles, when you order a custom Bible, um, I got this when I was on her creative team. Um, she personalized the front with the verse. You will joyfully draw water from the springs of salvation. She puts your favorite verse on there. Um, and then she puts it like in the front. Um, and I love the Bible tabs that she has. I chose, I chose rustic Bible tabs because I really like the vintage look that it gives. And one of the things I can really, really say is they are durable quality. Um, I have a lot of tabs in my other Bibles and they have just fallen off, but these have not torn my Bible at all. Um, and they come like in this laminated pouch and she puts these, she actually puts these on for you when you order the Bible with the custom tabs. She has multiple custom tabs that you can order from. So I can link her website below in the description box if you're actually interested and maybe purchasing a Bible from Ashley. No, this video is not sponsored by anyone. I take this Bible to church, actually, because it's not as big. Well, used to before COVID. Um, so today, we're just gonna get right into the process video. So today, I'm gonna be journaling from Genesis 21, 6. So one of the things about the printable is that it came with um scriptures but i've already cut up the printable because i pre-cut my printables because it makes it easier for me to just grab and use them and i don't have to cut them up um cutting printables early makes the process go by a lot faster if you're just really into just quick journaling so once i get printables i just go ahead and cut them out and then store them for whenever i get ready to use them so the scripture says, and Sarah said, God has made laughter for me. Everyone who hears will laugh over me. And she said, who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children? Yet I have borne him a son in his old age. And one of the things when I was studying this scripture, um, one of the things that I really wrote down was the last little bit of verse 7. Yet I have borne him a son in his old age. And that said to me that it doesn't matter how old you are. God moves at the right time. Because sometimes we do get caught up in, oh, well, I'm too old to do this. And I'm too old to do that. And I'm supposed to be married by 25. Or I'm supposed to be in my career by 21. Or so we get caught up in, well, having having to do something at a timeline we use a timeline as okay our how like our success rate and that's not how god moves god moves at his own time when he sees fit that we're ready to actually handle what he's going to bless us with and that's something i i've been having to tell myself because i'm very impatient and i've been working with my patience because when i pray for something I want God, I'm like, God, you know, I'm on a timeline. It, it needs to be when I want it to be. But we all know that's not how God moves. So one of the things I try to usually do is I try to use everything from the same kit when I journal. I gotta put something under this. So what I'm doing, I'm just using this to kind of raise this up a little bit. So it'll be even. 
So I try to use everything from the same kit. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. Um, Cause this Bible is not as big as my illustrating Bible. So, not sure if I want to use the big one. So usually I just play around with the pieces. I never really know how I want something to look until, depending on the Bible that I'm journaling in. Cause sometimes when you use big elements, it covers the whole page. And I try not to journal where the crease is because sometimes when you journal where the crease is, it's hard to close the Bible. So I try to journal at least in the middle or on the outside of the Bible. And I really love Crystal's printables. Like she creates the, such, like she creates the cutest girls. And it's always like, I can identify, I can always identify with the scriptures that she uses to go along with the printable, which is really good. Um, because one of the things that I actually cut out was God is faithful. And we all know that God is most definitely faithful because when, when Sarah bore Isaac, Isaac I, I was writing in my notes that Isaac was actually meant, meant rebuke. But instead of his name being exactly li like the literal term of what it means, it gave Sarah joy. And as a reminder that God is faithful. So what I want to do is I kind of want to kind of contrast this. So I pulled out some flowers from the Make a Heart Studio to see if I want to use something from her shop because I love mixing printables sometimes I try to stay with the same shop but sometimes I love like a contrasted look from like another shop especially because it's so different and that's one of the things I love about Nadine's shop is all her printables usually come with florals and I really love florals florals take your journaling to the next level um, so I'm just trying to pick out something that I'm leaning more towards this one because I kind of want to just give it a little contrast a little bit so it doesn't all be the same color. Just trying to see like how I want to lay it. Trying to see if there's like a little one. I thought there was a little piece. And I love florals. Like I use florals in almost, yeah, there's a little one. I use florals in almost every printable. See, I like that. I like the way that it looks because it, it's not just like pink on pink. And one of the things I don't like to use is the same color on top of the same color. So because the girl's shirt is pink, I need something to kind of offset this pink because when you especially when I take pictures and put them on Instagram you can't really distinguish the pinks so that's one of the things that I like to do is I like to put different colors between the same color so since I like this I'm just going to go ahead and put it down because sometimes when we second guess ourselves that makes the process of journaling a lot longer than it should be. So just gonna put some tape. And I don't even take all of this. I just usually take just a little bit at the bottom. And then I just put it on here. And this is just Scotch glue dots adhesive tape. So And I try not to use every piece of my elements because I know I'm going to journal with this more than probably two times. I'm probably going to get about two uses out of, I don't want that over her face. 
I'm probably gonna get two uses out of this journaling kit. So, and sometimes you just have to play with it to get it to how you like it. I'm just a, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, so I pretty much like to have things symmetrical or it just, it has to feel balanced to me. So, maybe that's too big. I'm thinking maybe that's too big. Because I had this piece in there before. So, it's just I wanted something here. Maybe I should use this. So now I'm kind of not sure. Like, like I hate when I have it, I hate when I have it in my head how I want it. And then once I, I think I like that. I'm just gonna go with that. I just hate how I have something in my head and then it's like, oh, hold on, that's not gonna work. And then I try to hold this down so it doesn't move once that's one thing that i do like a little trick is once i get it in place i try to at least hold it down so that it doesn't move and i try to tape it like tape just a little bit of it just to get it down so it doesn't move because sometimes you can create something you're like oh yeah i like that and then when you move everything it just gets completely messed up so here that's already kind of down a little bit so just take that and i just do a little bit a little bit of that and then and i don't really worry about covering up the words too much I'm trying to see so yeah i'm gonna have to move this over And I would suggest to anyone that's like a beginner Bible journaler, you know, or newbie or just need some tips, I would suggest always, if you're gonna use adhesive glue, please use repositionable glue, like adhesive glue. So like this, it says permanent, but don't believe it because I can pull this up three, four times and before it sets. So, if you get like some type of adhesive glue, which Tombow is really popular, um, that's one of the glues that I've used in the past, but I actually like the dots better than just the actual adhesive glue. So you can look you can look on Amazon for like glue dots, and then this is Scotch, and then they have a Tombow, and Gina K has glue dots. Um, but I would suggest to get repositionable just in case you mess up and then you want to be able to pull it up without ripping your page. So I'm not going to put too much glue on it because I kind of like it sticking up like this. And let's see what else. I really don't want to put too much on it because the page is so small. You don't, I, I don't like my Bible, I don't like my pages looking cluttered. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty extra person, but I don't like clutter. So, I'm trying to see if I should put this here. And I usually already cut my sentiments out but I didn't know if I was gonna actually use this or if I was gonna actually hand letter this cause I usually hand letter a lot in my Bibles. So I was gonna letter God is faithful, but then I just saw that I don't think it's enough room for me to hand letter. So I'm, I may just use this sentiment. So I'm 
put that out, so. Might have to, I don't know. Might have to cut this. Cause the whole thing doesn't fit. So sometimes you have to downsize it and like I do like the God is part and this is a little bit too big to be right here I just wish I didn't have to cover up the flower Maybe I need to add an extra flower here. I think I might just, cause I don't want that to be sitting on the paper. It's like I need something extra on here. So I just lift this up. Oops, turn it off. And what I'm probably going to do with this, I want to add some dimension to it, so I'm probably going to pop that up a little bit. And I actually found this. They actually have craft foam at the Dollar Tree. I didn't even know that. They have craft foam at the Dollar Tree. I had found the last one. So make sure y'all check out Dollar Tree because they actually have some really good stuff you can use for Bible journaling. Cutting out the piece. pop this up and this is permanent so if you if you stick the craft foam down it will tear the whole page so once you stick it down you have to make sure that and what I use to stick this down so I can get a really good position is tweezers So I use the tweezers to kind of position how I want it to look. Cause sometimes when you use your hands, it doesn't look right. So maybe if I go down just a little bit. And I'm gonna stick it right here. So now this faithful if I want to put this at the top. Might just put that at the top where the tab goes. And what I use to make like the title of my tabs um, is a Dymo embosser, label embosser. It's like a manual one. And I got this from Amazon and I just use this to make 
the title for my tab so i'm gonna label it joy because you can only fit like five or six characters on like the the tabs that i punch out so i'm just gonna use joy I recycle all my paper so like once I'm finished using paper or I don't use it again or it's just like scrap paper just sitting I actually just if you have like a a tap maker just I would suggest just punch the pattern paper or any papers to be honest that you have like anything that's packaging so I, and that's what I do so I don't I don't like wasting paper so this is gonna go here. And I, what I do is like for thick paper, I just use this on the back of the thin paper. So it, the thin paper doesn't get bent when I fold my Bible. I'm just gonna use this today. from the back oh would you know it says faith on the back and then on the front I'm gonna put joy on the front and then I'm going to place this probably here. I usually write the scripture on the back of it. And I actually staple my tabs. I don't glue them because the glue tends to come off. So... Turn this around. Try to cut it and not cut. Most times I always end up cutting my Bible, the page, because it's so close to the. just put it there there and then the last thing is to put the date so today is the 26th and I got this date roller from Illustrated Faith and I'm not sure if they have this particular one um, still at illustratedfaith.com but I found this on i found this at i think tuesday morning um but you i th but i have a link for this um on Am from amazon so if you want a small date roller this should be the link is going to be in the description box below i'm just gonna date it like that and then you're all finished 
so if you like the content of this page and you want to see more journaling make sure you come back to my page if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe so that you get notifications of my new videos i'm gonna try to have out like i said more videos during the week even though i work um of my processes because a lot of people ask me did you make a process video for this and i'm like no um so i'm going to try to get that try to do these a lot more than i am doing them um so i probably i'm probably gonna have another process video tomorrow or i try to do one maybe on friday but thank you for coming back to support my youtube channel until next time bye